100 foods to eat before you die. I've been traveling and eating all around the world and here are the 100 foods you need to eat before you die. And these are in no particular order, so add them to your food bucket list. Number 12, Navio. Found this all you can eat buffet. This might be one of the best all you can eat buffets I've ever been to. It's definitely one of the most expensive. This buffet is $200. Let's go see. And this buffet is located inside the Ritz Carlton at Half Moon Bay. It's one of the most expensive, probably is the most expensive seafood buffet. I've ever been to. It costs 200, well, 250 if you want to sit by the window. And it's helmed by a Michelin star chef. Let's go take a look. So, this place is so cool. It's one of the most fanciest buffets I've ever been to. So, the window looks right out to the bay. You see the waves crashing on the shore. If you want a window seat, it's $50 extra per person. And everything here on this page is all you can eat. And you have an hour and 30 minutes. I'm gonna try to eat as much as I can, as many times as I can, because all the food items look exquisite. There's caviar tasting, oysters, blue prawns, trout, cheese tasting, ceviche, scallops. There's all your breakfast items like waffles, quiche, pancakes. Here, Wagyu beef slider, lobster, salmon, short ribs, lamb rack, tenderloin, and then a dessert tower. All that, $1.99. And every single time you can order two plates per person, but you can start placing your next order as soon as the place arrives. So I'm just going down the list. You gotta try every single thing on the menu. Okay, first course is here. Caviar tasting course. So there's sturgeon, trout, bullfin, of course, some sour cream, little pancakes. They also brought out homemade butter and homemade pastries as well. All three caviars on my little pancake. <laughs> I just taste luxurious, a little briny, very poppin'. Also, the chef brought over some smoothie they made in-house. Mmm, that's good too. Next is the oyster tasting platter. There's champagne foam and Bloody Mary, wasabi. That is so good. Usually oysters to me, it's kind of just like a slimy entity and you're just really tasting hot sauce. Here, the oyster's got a snappy texture. The sauce is wonderful. The wasabi especially, not too spicy, perfect mouthfeel. The champagne foam is ever so light and creamy. Next dish, trout with sun-dried tomatoes. That trout is just so smoky. Great texture, I love the popping. A little rice puffs on top, and also the sun-dried tomato sauce, delicious crispy pickle in it as well. Every single dish has been so exquisitely beautiful. It's like you're ordering dish by dish from a luxury restaurant, but this is all you can eat. I got a dream come true right now. Wow, next dish, prawn and cocktail sauce. This is the most gorgeous looking prawn and cocktail sauce I've ever seen, for sure. I mean, these prawns are ginormous. And cocktail sauce, a little bit of greens. Mm. The prawns are so giant, and juicy, and sweet. Cocktail sauce is perfect, perfect little refreshing dish. Next is ceviche. Corn, um, looks like pickled onions, sweet potatoes. Mmm, oh, I love this so much. It's so citrusy. The fish is perfect. Sweet potato is so velvety. I love the nice crunch from the onions. One of my favorite things so far. Next dish. It's just a salad. I should have skipped this one. This is a good salad with cherry vinaigrette on top. Next, cheese tasting platter. Cheese is delicious, bread is delicious, jam is delicious. I love a good cheese plate. So far, all the starter dishes, it's all delicious. You definitely taste the quality, the freshness. First main dish, scallop. Deliciously seared. Surrounded by truffle, polenta, a little bit of greens. Oh, this is perfectly cooked. Oh, it smells so truffly. Ready for another round? Mm -hmm. so Thank far? you. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that scallop with a truffle polenta around wow. it. Wow. This is one of the best scallops okay. I ever put in my mouth. This is so good. I need at least 10 of these. I have limited time, <laughs> but I will have unlimited stomach space for this. Mm, the scallops are so perfectly seared. Amazingly delicate and sweet and so buttery. And again, that truffle aroma is just next to none. This is where I'm gonna start digging into the freshly made 
bread. Look at this sesame croissant. Actually, this is like a everything croissant. Dunk it in there in the truffle sauce. Mmm, this is good beyond words. And so is that croissant, by the way. This is an amazing croissant. Hope we get unlimited ones of these too. Boy, it's so good. Oh, something that smells really good just appeared on the table. This is a low temperature egg truffle on top. Oh, so beautiful. A little asparagus in here. Mushrooms as well. Oh my gosh, look at how much truffle you get with this. From my truffle hunt in Italy, I did learn that truffle goes perfect with a little runny egg. Mm, wow, truffle obviously so incredibly earthy. Egg is so smooth and silky and perfectly highlights that delicious truffle flavor. Throw in a little bit of mushrooms as well to enhance that earthiness. Then a little crunch from the asparagus for a change in texture. It's like eating pure runny silk. Next up, rigatoni carbonara with bacon bits on top. Wow. Oh, the sauce looks so good. I only have an hour left. We've only been through a third of the menu. This is not good. Mm. Wow, this is good. Rigatoni, absolutely perfect. Chewy al dente. The bacon pieces, they're smoky. The texture's kind of like a jerky almost. I love it. I really love it. And the more you chew on that bacon, the more that great fatty flavor exudes from these little porky cubes. Mm. Next, Dungeness Crab Eggs Benedict. Watch this. This is gonna be pretty. I don't think there's really much prettier in the food world than a flowy, eggy waterfall. Dungeness crab, of course, is what the Bay Area is known for. Oh my God, this whole thing is crumbling. There's spinach in here as well. It's like a nest of spinach and the egg is sitting on that nest. Dungeness crab inside, here we go. Mm. Best egg benedict I've ever had. The crab is so sweet and tender and the spinach is amazing. Use it to sweep up the velvety egg yolk. The crab meat brings a slight sweetness to this whole dish. This is so awesome. Oh, this next dish I got, this is gonna be a stomach filler. Chocolate chip banana pancakes. Cover that whole thing up in syrup. Mmm. I know this is a stomach filler, but I'll happily fill my stomach with this. Pancakes, light and fluffy. The little balls of chocolate provide such a nice crunch. Mmm. Next is a beet risotto with blue cheese and lemon zest. Mmm. Oh, delicious. I love how they just give you like a taste of it. Well, that blue cheese flavor is profound. Risotto is perfect. It's so cheesy. Another breakfast dish. Belgian waffle. It looks like raspberry on top. Homemade whipped cream and maple syrup. Dunk the whipped cream on. Maple syrup. Oh, that is toasty waffle. Mmm, amazing. This is way better than the pancake. Get this. If you're ever here, you want a breakfast item, you cannot go wrong with this. This is like one of the best waffles ever to have existed. It's so toasty on the outside. The whipped cream is just wonderful. Mmm, oh, I love it. I'm a big fan of waffles. This is just the best waffle. Mm. I'm trying to hurry because my time is almost half over and I've only been through half the menu. Gotta at least try everything once. This is a smoked salmon quiche. Take a little bit of the smoked salmon. It's a very good quiche. The egg's really delicate inside, the spinach is good. The crust is what really sets this apart. It's such a crumbly crust. Once you get through the crumbly crust, everything inside is just as tender as a gentle lullaby. And the smoked salmon is so deliciously smoky. I mean, this is also a stomach filler. Likely, I like this, but in general, I'm not super big fan of quiches. Otherwise, probably have to get another one of these. Next is a dish called Vichy Soise. This is a soup made out of leek. i never seen anything like this before. Oh, the soup is great. It's creamy. You taste the leek, but you taste so much more than that. The flavor is so complex and it's like they squeezed every single ounce of flavor out of the leeks and put it into the soup. That is the most wonderful thing. Oh, I love this. Next is a Wagyu burger. Oh, the bun is so soft and toasty. So garlic aioli, there's a giant piece of bacon on top of the burger. There's mushrooms on the bun. This thing just 
came out of the grill because it is piping hot and so juicy. Let's look at that. Perfectly cooked. Whoa, all the juice is like leaking down my hands. I bet you this is gonna be delicious. Mmm, this is a great burger. Patty is so juicy, deliciously charred, so it seals in all that juice inside. The bacon is just perfect. Oh, this is like the juiciest little slider I've ever gotten. Mm. Every bite, I'm just slurping out the burger juice. The buns are so buttery and toasty. Mushroom is delicious. The sauce is fantastic. That's so good, it hurts. I'm gonna chase that with a plate of vegetables. It's beautiful though. Grilled seasonal vegetables and roots puree. It's so colorful. Peas, tomatoes, cauliflower. Mm. The puree is delicious, it's creamy. All the vegetables taste like they just came out of the garden. There's some next level vegetables. Wouldn't be surprised if the Ritz Carlton had a vegetable garden every day just picking things out of that. Next up, salmon with ponzu and bok choy. Hmm, what can I say? Utter perfection. Perfectly seared on the outside. Beautifully juicy and so soft inside. Ponzu sauce, perfectly delicious. The sesame adds a nice aroma. My salmon is absolutely mind blowing. You get this at any seafood restaurant, you'll be so happy with that already. At a buffet, even better. This is the dish I've been waiting for. Lobster with trout caviar on top. Mm, it's just so sweet. Sauce is creamy, the caviar just pops. Every time it pops, it's like a little umami explosion that enhances the sweetness and the flavor of the lobster. That round was tremendous. Like serving turf, the burger, the salmon, the lobster. I might like the salmon most of all from that round. That salmon, is, it's not like the lobster is bad. It's great. The salmon is just so good. All right, last three dishes. I think I got about 20 minutes left. Short rib is so crazy. First of all, it's so soft, don't need a knife. Here's a fork and the meat just completely falls apart. Red wine sauce is perfect. Mushroom is a delicious touch. Also, I think the bottom is a, some kind of cheesy potato puree. Mmm, that's so smooth. It's kind of a hefty dish though. I'm definitely filling up. Next up, tenderloin. Tenderloin is good. It's probably not my favorite thing I've had today. It is a little dry on the outside. Inside is really nice and tender. Last meat dish of the meal, rack of lamb over peas. Oh, that lamb is so good. That's definitely the best out of the meat items. It's so tender and scrumptious. There's good amounts of fats on here. Oh, that's so tender. The gravy is good. The peas provides a really nice contrast with a sweet crunch. Definitely, best red meat on the menu is the lamb. There's only about 12 minutes left. They told me the kitchen's about to close, so one last order. Put in order for three lobster, four scallops, a soft egg with truffle, and a salmon. My favorite items off the menu today. And then after that, they're gonna bring out dessert. Dessert is here. From the top, pear and toffee verrain over panna cotta. <laughs> oh, this is ridiculous. Sweet, crunchy, milky, incredibly creamy. Panna cotta is so soft. I love the little crunchy toffees. Oh, it's just magical. Next, an upside down pineapple cake. This is good. Not as magical as the panna cotta, but good. Oh, this should be fun. Eggnog cheesecake. Mmm. Oh, that's so yummy. The cheesecake is perfect. The outside crumple. It's a little salty and sweet. Oh, it's such a nice flavor profile. Finally, a peppermint mousse. Mm. <laughs> I'm a little rushed because I only have five minutes to finish the dessert. The last table here. If you have a special occasion to celebrate, if you're around the Bay Area and you love buffets, this is a fantastic place. I wish they would ease up and give you two hours for all the savory dishes. Hour and a half, even without filming, just getting every single thing on the menu, which you gotta try at least everything on the menu, will take up just about the hour and a half. If you just don't talk, no conversation, just full on yeet. With that said, every single dish, tastes like it came from a fine dining restaurant. It's almost like an all-you-can-eat tasting menu. And the menu changes all the time, so, I mean, yeah, this is a place I would definitely recommend. Price tag is hefty, but the ingredients they're using, what you're getting, that's really high-quality stuff. Awesome place.